they compare themselves to. They don't have anything to make them feel better about themselves. And this is what causes a lot of friendships to break. This causes a lot of friendships to end. This causes a lot of friendships to understand that, hey, maybe we aren't as compatible as I thought. Or All right, guys, I am back with another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's going to be a good banger. Why do you fall off with friends or why do you fall out with friends with body game? Understanding this. And, um, you know, so this is a common problem that a lot of people have. A lot of people are confused about it and they just don't understand why. You know what I'm saying? They don't really understand it. And that's what I want to talk about is your evolution with body game. I want you guys to hear me when I say this is that body game is the most noticeable transformation a person can do. Um, whether you guys notice it, notice or not, people are always looking at looking to you, looking at you, judging you, regardless of the fact. But they are always looking for you. So everybody has a tip, like a certain type of influence. You know what I mean? So body game is just like the strongest level of which you can have pretty much a transformation. This is very, very important to understand because this changes the, the dynamic when you're dealing with people. Because whether if you know it or not, people have a... A plateau or they pretty much have a level on which they think that you can progress so when you do work in your body you do work out you do the, the things the pretty much help out your physical appearance you dismantle every limitation they had on you so if you are a bigger person a bigger guy a bigger woman people look to you as being the person that they can look to to make themselves feel better about not being in shape or they'll look to you to be reliant on you coming so that way they appear skinnier or they feel skinnier that's why a lot of times you'll have people if you are bigger somebody with skinnier will be around you or they'll take pictures with you and everything like that and it's really not politically correct but you do make people feel more comfortable if you are bigger people are going to be more comfortable around you uh, you're going to make them feel more safe, more secure. They're going to be like, okay, they may see themselves and compare themselves to you. And they may say things like, okay, well, at least I'm not this big or I'm not like this out of shape or whatever like that. So when you do work on yourself, when you do put the time in, when you do put the focus in, you put the intention in, you do something what's called change the friendship dynamic because a lot of times people who are bigger are not unattractive. A lot of times people who are bigger have a good style. A lot of times people who are um, bigger have a great personality. So when you do lose weight, now you may notice you're, you're getting flirted with or sometimes people ask you for your number instead of your other friend's number. And you'll know sometimes... You, People can be jealous of that. People can be jealous of your spirit. Some some people can be jealous of your light. And, you know, it really just took you for losing weight for you, people to understand that, hey, this person is actually a better option than your friend or for other people in your friend group. And it's like it makes people feel uncomfortable because you're taking the attention away from them. You're taking the shine away from them. And that's how they view it. You aren't actually doing that. You're just being yourself. You're existing. You're uh, manifesting your dream body. You're working on yourself. You're self-improving. But when somebody views you, when you change the dynamic, they kind of view you differently now. You know what I mean? So it may be harder for you to be in a relationship with them or it may be harder for you to deal with them on a friendship level because now you'll notice like nastier comments. You'll notice more so competition you'll understand that hey maybe this person will say anything to make me look bad in front of my crush or they may ruin chances with people by telling them i like them or you know talk about private conversations in front of people that we don't know and those are just actions that people have when they are intimidated by you or they're scared of your progress they're scared of what you can achieve they're scared of what you can take away from them and they don't see it as you guys are on the same team, the same playing field, because now they used to feel comfortable with you. Now they're uncomfortable. And it, it's a big pill to swallow because now if a person is not secure, which a lot of people are insecure, they don't really know what their power is now. You know what I'm saying? They don't really know 
what's so special about them now, especially if they can't compare themselves to you. If they felt like they were in a better position, now that the position changes, now they feel left out. You know what I'm saying? Now they're comparing. They don't, they don't, they don't have anybody to compare themselves to. They don't have anything to make them feel better about themselves. And this is what causes a lot of friendships to break. This causes a lot of friendships to end. This causes a lot of friendships to understand that, hey, maybe we aren't as compatible as I thought. Or we were only compatible when I was bigger. But now that I'm skinnier, I'm understanding that you kind of envy that I was able to do this. You aren't happy for my progress. You aren't happy for my success. And it's tearing you up inside. And I want you guys to understand that if somebody is falling out from you based on a physical appearance... If it increases, that was never your friend in the first place. That was someone that was pretty much just a placeholder. And that's what you guys have to understand is that if somebody can follow up on how small that is based on all the time you spent, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely pretty sure you benefit that person in, some, in certain ways. If they're able to part ways with you or cut that off just simply for you existing and shedding weight and looking better and doing something that's going to help you, you are not in a friendship you're in a cage, you know what I'm saying? You're in a box, you're on a leash. And it's the same, it's a pretty much the same concept as if you have a dog, but let's say that dog chooses another owner. You're going to hate that dog in a sense, because now you, everything you put into that friendship or whatever like that, a dog just chose another family. You know what I'm saying? A dog just left you high and dry and chose a better opportunity or just lived their life to where they did a decision that was relying on them. And not on you. And you felt like you were in the control in that situation. Hence, that's why we have leashes and everything like that when we deal with dogs. So I'm just telling you that to say is like you don't want to feel like you're on a leash relation with the relationship. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times people are in relationships, but they don't understand that because they never self-improve. When you evolve, when you work on yourself, when you have like different aspects to you that generate attention or attract people or is attractive. People aren't used to that, especially if they're used to being the the most popular, the most athletic, the most, you know, the person who gets the most numbers when you go out. And it happens all the time because if they can't be the only ones winning, it's not as fun. It's almost as if, like, it's not as valuable anymore. You know what I'm saying? If like, if everybody's getting flirted with, some people view that as competition because they feel like they should get the most attention. They feel like their outfit is the best. They feel like they're the best option out of the friend group. They feel like I'm the main character out of this. Why am I not being, where's my screen time? Where's my play time? This is my show. You know what I mean? And it's just like, you'll notice this on jobs. You'll notice this on uh, when you go out with your friends, you'll notice when you go to different clubs and different, um, you know, have you have other opportunities to meet people. And it just sucks because a person can make you feel so insecure and ugly about you progressing and leveling up your body, which, in fact, is not anything like that. It's also a beautiful thing, but they'll make you feel so bad about it. They'll be like, well, you don't spend any time with us. You feel like you're changing. They'll turn people even against you who may be in the friend group. So you may be in the friend group, but you'll notice that you'll be left out of certain things. You won't get invited anymore. And sometimes it's because you just take too much of the attention up. You take too much of the, the eyeballs, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like everybody's just looking at you and that bothers a lot of people. You may not see it as a big deal or you may not even pay attention to it, but you have to understand it's other people out there who are paying attention to, to different interactions that you're having with people. And they don't like it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it makes them feel very, very ugly inside. It makes them feel very insecure. And that's why I want you guys to understand whether if it's a female friend group or male friend group, a lot of these people are insecure. And it may be just their looks is the only thing they have, or it may be just their money is the only thing they have, or it may just be their, you know, creativity is all that they have, or just cert certain little things. And they, that's what makes them that's their personality some people's personality is that they look good and it sucks but if that's the only thing they have going from themselves how can you fault them or how can you blame them for being upset when you have a great personality you are a great person you treat people with respect people want to be around you people are attracted to you people come back people treat you nicely they're seeing all these things and then they're wondering why this other person doesn't want to spend time with them. They're trying to figure out why 
this relationship isn't working out. And I'm just here to tell you guys, it's like, you know, you need to be focused and you need to understand that when you do lose weight, when you do practice body game, people will switch up on you. People will feel a way. You know what I mean? And you will look different. And that's why I tell you guys, it's like body game is the biggest transformation because think about it. Your clothes are going to fit different. Your face is going to look different. You know, saying so your haircuts are going to hit different. People are going to see you as more powerful and stronger, especially as a man. It's going to be more masculine. It's going to be viewed as more masculine. And then also, too, it's job opportunities for being skinnier to be able to train people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people come out with workout plans because they realize that they know how to lose weight, make their body look good. Guess what? Other people are lo looking to do the same thing. So it's just like it's such a benefit in body game that I think a lot of people don't take time out to understand. But you have to understand with so like social interactions, people are looking at that. You know what I'm saying? People are seeing how fit you are, how strong you are, how you look with different clothes, having workout gear. You know, it's even like a style for workout gear. You know what I mean? So it's just like everybody has their lane, but you'll notice when you work out, people will want to jump into your lane. You know what I'm saying? People will want to jump out and be influenced by you working on yourself and working on your body. And I'll cause you to fall out with people. And that's what I really want to talk to you guys about. Really want you guys to understand that because, you know, it sometimes can be a lonely road, but it's, it's not your fault. You know what I'm saying? You're working on yourself and you're supposed to do that and you're supposed to evolve. So never make anybody feel, never let anybody make you feel bad about making that decision for you. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody else is going to do it. And yeah, that's the end of the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. We're pumping out these uploads. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ask me any questions down in the comment box below, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. Whew.